a potential tragedy struck the Brewer family on August 4th, 2008. Shortly after their youngest daughter, Cassidy, had finished mowing the yard, she developed a severe headache. Minutes later, she just came out with just, Mom, oh my God, my head is hurting. I was thinking she was dehydrated. And then I noticed her hand started um, coming up and she threw up. And then I knew it was severe and I just, I just called out to God. So I got her in the car and I took her. I didn't even think about dialing 911. I just wanted to get her there. They did the CT scan and came out and said there was a, a massive uh, bleed in the brain. Cassidy has suffered from a ruptured arterial venous malformation and was not expected to survive. She was flown to a children's hospital in San Diego, but doctor after doctor didn't expect much hope. But after about 10 days to two weeks, um, we were seeing signs of a lot of hope with the, you know, her just squeezing her hands or maybe opening her eyes just a little bit. Or... Miraculously, it now appeared Cassidy would survive. Her experience left her completely functionally dependent, unable to speak, and requiring a feeding tube. But after three months in a hospital, it was finally time to bring her home. The Brewer family rallied behind Cassidy, providing around-the-clock care for her. You know, she came home and she wasn't speaking, she wasn't mobile or anything, but just having her home, just being a family back at home was like, like I could, we could all just breathe again. As a family, we're very tight. We've all pulled together and have really made the focus of our life uh, supporting Cassidy and, and uh, getting her back on her feet. This family, you could tell, uh, says, okay, we're on it. We're there for Cassidy. We're gonna get on that. Let's get Cassidy Brewer better trained. Um, and it, the, whole, the whole family came together as a unit for, for Cassidy. One thing that really impressed me was Lexi, who is a senior in high school, opted to stay home her senior year to help mom take care of her sister. And to me, that's a pretty profound thing because the senior year is such an important one with so many highlights and, and special memories that would be there. And she was willing to sacrifice that for her sister. This is way more important than school or friends or everything, my social life. Uh, this is way more important. As the brew crew swung into action to care for Cassidy, they were aided by the VNAIC's home health team in Marietta. One of the most important things in the beginning, of course, was getting her back and mobile. And she didn't have the strength to do that. So Chuck and Diana through VNA really put together a program for her to take her from a point where she was flat on her back, only moving her head and blinking her eyes, to within just a few weeks up and standing and work, walking in a walker, and they got her strong enough to, to go back to, to, to uh, full-time rehab. She just made remarkable um, gains in every day. Uh, we'd see Chuck and Diana five days a week, and uh, what we saw every day was just unbelievable. Anytime we asked the family to help us out, whether it be the home program, um, get us equipment that we needed to um, pursue our treatment plan with Cassidy. The family was very good about um, following through with. We're just a team family. I mean, we, when Cass is working hard, we want to work hard with her. And when we were just eager to learn. As a team, the Brewer family, Chuck and Diane, watched Cassidy transform on a weekly basis. It wasn't easy, especially for Cassidy, but the hard work paid off in the long run. Chuck was here when Cassidy said her first word. I think that was probably one of the highlights ever is when she told him. He was really pushing her that day and Chuck is not shy. I mean, Chuck has a very direct manner in which he motivates people and that's basically by getting in their face. Amazingly, the word came out bold and, and uh, defiant, no. Chuck said, what did you say? And she said, no, with a real deep voice. Well, I laughed and I looked over at mom and mom, mom cried. And so that was a touching moment for Mom, a big deal, a big milestone. From that day forward is when her speech came back. So in, in some way, um, her, uh, her relationship with Chuck really drew out of her the strength to start speaking again. And from that day forward, she, she's been a, a jabber box. Today, Cassidy is continuing to get stronger. As she tries to grasp what happened to her over the last six months, she's very thankful for the love and care she received from her family. I'm really thankful of them because they do a lot for me. She has benefited greatly from this um, cohesive support of this family. Mm -hmm.